Hello, hello everybody. It's Rio with Posh Plum Plans and today I am here with a memory spread for the second week of August in my happy planner. So the first thing I've done of course is remove the pages and I like to washi tape them together with a white washi just so that I can keep my pages together and my spread doesn't go everywhere. So this is the first week of school and I've got two little ones who are in school and they're my oldest two which are my daughters. So I rightfully started the spread off with my girl gang on the day that we started school just because that's my girls all all two of them <laughs> headed off to school I wanted to really note that so I put down a couple quarter boxes in the sidebar and I'll fill those in with my goals later and then at the bottom of Monday there I wanted to put a world's bestish mom because I had a little mishap with uh, my youngest we were in the pool swimming and he went under and thankfully everybody was right there. He was sitting in somebody's lap. It was totally fine, but it was one of those, oh my gosh, yes, world's best-ish moms. I like to put some stickers down and then I like to plan with pencil just because my handwriting is not the greatest. Uh, I'm not a professional at centering things yet, so it really helps me to start in pencil. And that reading right there, that book is, uh, in the bad series and I didn't think I could say that or write that on YouTube and so that's why those asterisks are there <laughs> okay so here I am in the the mom book and just grabbing a couple of green circles because my girls every day get a color grade and it's kind of like the colors of the rainbow and so based on their behavior they get colors and green is a good color so they both got green on their first day of school and I just wanted to record that in there That is my scratch planner. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a scratch planner or if that concept is new to you, but just like using scratch paper, I like to use a scratch planner um, just to kind of jot things down and it really just helps me when I'm doing videos like this. So I only really use it just to throw my plans in there quickly and then I will come into my big happy planner and make a beautiful spread or a spread that I feel much more comfortable flipping through. Um, and then actually later on I go back through my scratch planner and I erase everything and then make it beautiful as well. Um, so it just really helps me to kind of keep things um, organized in a messy way so I don't have to be beautiful in that planner. Okay, now I just want to highlight the weekend. So I'm looking for a couple of different stickers um, to really highlight the weekend that we had. It was such a fun weekend and uh, we ended up going roller skating, which was awesome. So now I'm just taking a full box and cutting it down so that it fits a little bit better in this Monday column here. And then I'm going into my Joanne's book. I don't know if you guys have this book, but I absolutely love this book and I am so lucky that I have a Joanne fabric near me. So I was able to grab this book. It has just a little bit of everything in it when it comes to the happy planner. And I love that I don't have to scour for the perfect book. Sometimes I, if I'm just feeling lazy, I'll grab that book. And for the most part, it's got what I need in it. So I love that that book's got kind of a collection of a lot of different happy planner sticker books. It's really convenient. I love watching planner girls who know what they're doing when it comes to layering stickers. And I'm not exactly comfortable with it yet. So I'm still trying and still kind of learning as I go. But of course, the more I practice, I think the more comfortable I'll feel. Um, and I'm a little clumsy as I go through my sticker books and kind of decide which ones I want. There's a lot of editing that happens in these videos <laughs> and a lot of cutting out that you don't need to see of me flipping through sticker books trying to decide, okay, what am I going to put here? What am I going to put here? I'm hoping with enough practice that these videos will become so much easier to record and to edit. I do have so much fun doing this though. I think a lot of the planner girls who do these videos do them because they enjoy them, right? Because why else would you do this? What is so much fun and therapeutic to um, just kind of write out your plans or even your memories like I'm doing here. 
because we all know how much fun it is to do a flip through of all the spreads that you've done and look at all your accomplishments and your memories. And that's my goal here with planning, memory planning, forward planning, whatever kind of planning I'm doing is because at the end of it, I really want to be able to have books and planners that I can look through and flip and say, oh yeah, remember when we did that? That was so much fun. I love doing things like that. So now to kind of bring the whole spread together, I wanted to mainly focus on pink because that's for my girls. Both my girls at one point in time in their lives loved the color pink. So I wanted to really celebrate that. And to kind of bring the spread together, I went, um, cheated a little bit and went to the florals book and just decided that I was gonna use this page of florals and just kind of put them everywhere and make it look like a cohesive kit almost. So if you were to buy an Etsy kit, or something like that um, it might have similar elements like these flowers in it and so that's what I'm doing here just bringing it all together using the pinks and the gold foils and just kind of strategically placing things down Another reason why I really like to write in pencil in my planner spreads first is because there's always some erasing, there's always some repositioning, and of course if I do that in a pen, I'm kind of locked in, and I have that horrible, paralyzing fear of doing something wrong in my planner and not being able to fix it. So this here, I'm adding a little bit of color to the dates in the top of the uh, date bar up here. And it was one of those things where I thought, okay, I'll try it. And then I got halfway through it and I was like, I'm not sure I really love this, but I'm halfway through, so I'm gonna stick with it. And I ended up doing the rest of the numbers that way. Um, and it's pretty enough. You know, I didn't wanna just completely scrap it and then use date dots to cover it. I thought it worked out okay. And you can kind of see it a little bit better at the end of the video when I do a close up, but it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> okay, choosing pens, I was gonna go for my Ink Joy, but I ended up going with my Flare, which is really funny because I kept hemming and hawing over different colors. Do I do the gray? Do I do the pink? And I ended up going with my Black Flare anyway. <laughs> And the last final touches on this planner spread, I of course love to track and celebrate anytime I go to Starbucks. I absolutely love Starbucks. I feel like maybe one day I would actually even work there just for fun. <laughs> but I put a couple coffee cups there uh, just to celebrate that I went to Starbucks a couple times. And the final thing I'm doing here is just setting up my thumbnail for my videos. So here's the final look. A nice close-up of this spread and this is how it ended up with my beautiful cover shot so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you got something out of that video and I will catch you guys in the next one bye